your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. We may be seated. Let me take you to the book of Luke 10, the scripture that we all know. Verse 17. When focus is lost, all is lost. When focus is lost in your life, all is what? Is lost. What do I mean? You need to know your purpose here on earth. Why are you going to church every Sunday? Why are you requesting for prayers from men of God? Is it to solve your problem just there? Or because of your future? If it is not of your future, then focus is lost. The purpose of the church is not for membership. This is a long perception to all of us. Most of us Christians, we go to church because of membership so that when you die, praise team will come to your house, the church will do this and that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But your future is more important. This is why I want to bring this to your attention. <clears throat> I talked about this scripture when I was talking about power. This is Luke 10, verse 17. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. We all know this scripture. It's not a new one. We all read Bible every day. But the challenge is that the way you know we understand the Bible, that's where the problem is. Bible is not history to you who are saved. It is history to the people of this world. Anything that you see in the Bible is life. You learn through this. The people of this world, they see that history. But as for you, you are learning the way Luke, you know, saved God Almighty. The way the disciples were following Jesus. There you are receiving. Just there and then from your father. They returned with joy that even demons were submitting the interest and the purpose of you being the child of God is not membership. It is salvation. Listen to what Jesus said in verse 18. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And you know the activities of Satan. If your master could remind you that yes, demons were submitting, but I saw your enemy following you, coming to where you are. Demons are submitting, but his father, the devil, the father of all demons, is coming to you. It's like, you know, you beat a child. He will run to his father to say, Daddy, someone has beaten me. Who, who is there? Let's go. Let's go and see if he can beat me. As long as you are not strong enough, immediately you see the father, you run away. Are you there? Jesus reminds his disciples. In short, he's reminding you and me. Seeing evil spirit manifesting, ah, Mlenga, you are powerful. Mlenga, you are. It doesn't mean that Mlenga is powerful. Demon can deceive you. Demon can mislead your prayer life. If you go by their confession, sometimes they confess what they, they, they are not. I told you that demons sometimes will tell you that we are 3,000, and yet it's only one demon inside the body. How many are you? 
3,000. Ah, okay, you start hammering again. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. After 30 minutes, you say, how many are you? 2,999. They are lying because they know that you can't see beyond their confession. If you are saved, the Spirit of God will be there to interpret the allowance to say, don't mind, it's one. And this week is about to go. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll be struggling with one demon from morning up to evening. And you are coming out sweating. Ah, she wanted to fear you. Three thousand. He said, the devil will be laughing at you to say, look at this one, he's a fool. Jesus cannot, you know, allow Satan to be his spokesperson for his children. No. The Spirit of God is there. Praise the Lord. Now, let's go to 19. I have given you authority to tramp on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. We all know this scripture. They said demons were submitting. Jesus replied, I saw Satan coming down to you. Then he said, but I have given you authority over all the powers of darkness. Who are those people who are calling that? Remember he said, he gave them authority over demons. When Jesus sent you for his mission, he will give you authority over your enemy. It is not your enemy to control you. You are the one to control your enemy. In this case, our enemies are the ones who are in charge over our spiritual life. This is why we are eating every night. This is why what we have been praying for up to today, we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Why? The answer is here. Listen to this one. 20. However, do not rejoice that the evil spirits submit, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The power of God is not for fun. The power of God is to save your life. He did not send his power so that we can show people that we, no one is powerful. It is only him who is powerful. But you cannot be the partakers of this power as long as you are not saved. You can shout the name Jesus and demons will run away. It doesn't mean that you are saved. Demon will run away to go and tell his father. There is someone who is disturbing us. Satan will say, take me there. Is it this one? Yes. Ah. If care is not taken, you may end up losing your life. No one is listening to the Holy Spirit now. It is the situation. We pray according to the situation, not according to the Holy Spirit. We are not empowered by our situation. We are empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost because of my salvation and your salvation. You cannot use the name Jesus for your personal gain. No. Or your hidden agenda. It is because of your salvation. Are you there? Are you there? I hope you are getting... You know, sometimes when you sit down, you want to carry something in your heart, then the Spirit of God says, no, carry this one. The church is empowered by the owner. Who are the owner? God Almighty. Who is the church? Is it this war? No. It is your heart and my heart. And when we come together like this, we become one word, church. Empowered with power. I told you here that what is killing human being, it is not the flesh. It is evil power. What can protect you or save your life? It is not human flesh. It is Holy Ghost power. See the ritual killing now. See what is happening. Almost every day when you set your eyes on the TV, you hear they have killed this one, they have killed this one. Who are those killing? And the police cannot see them. They are not, you know, no more human beings. They are spiritual people using this flesh. Remember what used to happen during gassing time? 
or a lot of drama. No, you see a, a cat running away. If you are a child of God, if you are what? Come on, I'm talking to you. If you are a child of God, empowered by your father, you are saved already. Your name is there. And God cannot allow Satan to go there and treat your name. It's not possible. He will use you to show his power to save others. Be happy or be rejoiced that your names are written where? There. But as long as your names are not written there, you are provoking Satan. When the power of God comes upon your life, it will settle in your life. I don't know, but Jesus knows. The problems that we have been, you know, struggling, struggling. People carry Bible. You carry Bible. No one can tell you that the Bible that you are carrying, you, you, you do not understand this Bible. You will start fighting that person. Do you think uh, you know the Bible more than me? There is nothing like, no one knows the Bible apart from the own of the word. No one knows the Bible. Don't be deceived by anyone. Even us who are preaching, you can ask me a question from this Bible, I may not answer you. You can ask me, oh, pastor, I want the scripture which talked about this. I said, ah, uh, which scripture? Uh, I may not give you that, you know, scripture because it's not me. If it is to master the Bible, then you are mastering history. But the scripture that can give solution and answer to your problem comes through the Holy Spirit. Are you there? Let me even if time is not with us, let me take you to Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 12. So that you know what I'm talking about. Hebrews 12, verse 23. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, he have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirit of righteousness, made perfect. To the church of the firstborn. Who is the firstborn? Who is the firstborn? Are you the firstborn? Can I see the firstborn in our families? If you are a firstborn, let me see. So you are the owner of this church. Eh? <laughs> So you are the one of this church. Hmm? Listen to this. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, you have come to God. He's talking to those who belong to Jesus. He is the firstborn. Immediately, your names are written there, you have come to God. You are there, you are here on earth. But the real you, the one who is, you know, uh, the life of God is in his hands. There are churches and there's a church for Jesus. Who can identify that church? Only the spirit of the living father. Who can identify a child of God? Only the spirit of the living father. Look at what is happening today in the world. We don't know which direction. Things are becoming sour and we are worried. If the power of God is in you, the way Jesus was sustained when he was here on earth, that is the same way the Spirit of God is going to sustain you and give you hope. You see the life beyond persecution. You see life beyond sickness. You see life beyond calamities like what is happening now. So let the power of God be there to save your life. It's more like, I give you this example. Look at uh, the leaders of this world. They are sitting on those, you know, chairs by the power of the paper. You know the paper. That is constitution. The supreme law of our land. And they are using the security, you know, personnel to reinforce that power which is on what? On the paper. Are you getting the point? They are sitting there using what? 
a constitution. You cannot remove them. Constitution has, you know, permitted them to be there. And the man who is sitting here, he can't even, you know, uh, fight a small boy. Look at our leaders all over the world. Look at the, 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 the others who are old. You see them when they are walking, they are like this. But they are powerful. They are what? Because of what? Gun. The power behind their throne is the what? The gun. You cannot go there and say, leave this place, I'm here for you. They will just say, hey, security, mm, handle this one. You know by here. It's either they will lift you and knock you on the ground, or they will blow your head with bullets. Constitution empowered them and provide security personnel to protect their sitting there. For you, this is your constitution. Even in what? Constitution. The power behind you to be called a child of God is Holy Spirit. And no one can remove you from that book. The Holy Spirit is there protecting you. Are you there? The Spirit of God is there to protect you. Whether they hate you or love you as long as you are saved. No one can go and bring you out of that. No, 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 no. The Holy Ghost machine is there. The way you cannot go to any leader of this world to say, Sir, leave the place. I want to take over from you. He will look and say, Are you mad? I, I, think, I don't think so you can finish your sentence. The one behind him will slap you. The one what? Behind the man who do what? They are calling something in those jackets. If you don't know. Don't even try it. You lose your life. In the presence of the multitude. The same way demons will lose their lives. Because the one behind you is loaded with, you know, spiritual what? Bullets. Heaven will rise against them. Because you are already saved. I don't know if he, this example is clear to you. You are already what? Saved. They can try to do whatever. As long as you are saved, you are untouchable. You are what? Look at the way opposition leaders, you know, talk about uh, those who are in government. If it is possible for them to go and say, please, leave this place, we want to take over. They could have done that. But they are scared. The ballot is there. Police officers are all over. Soldiers are all over. Immediately, ah, oh, someone wants to do this. Ah, oh, go and arrest that person. You know the story about Captain Solo, what happened to him? I'm standing here, empowered by the heavenly what? Constitution. And the Holy Spirit is behind me, supporting my position, supporting my life, protecting my life, pushing me to where I, you know, I will become what? Successful. But when focus is lost, all is what? Is lost. It's a reminder. These evil people are killing innocent human beings every day. It is the power in you and me that can speak for those people who are vulnerable. When we pray, we cover every space with the presence of God Almighty. And no one can say, please don't pray for these people. No, we are mandated by the heavenly what? Constitution, that is the word of God. And backed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Calling the Bible without the Holy Spirit, you are calling history. You are not saved. You are just showing people that you are a Christian by birth. They will come to, you know, to destroy your business, to destroy your what? The Holy Spirit machine cannot allow them to destroy your business. Why? You are saved. They are what? I hope now, for example, I'm pale. Ava mabu teko e chalo chonse ba chingiri ruanenshi. Name footy. Tefo vini. Ava na ba kwale saba chingiri ruanenshi. Hmm? Holy Spirit. Ngai mwanga mwala la nani umi chingiri la. 
Imbwa shira mwate ka pansi. Hmm? Nyangu wala wala security company mwale ita panganda. Mulenye wati chua kuti chafi roku pita pe minine security ya safi ka mulumu. Tari fila ingila. Na muko mama giri udo, na mchitenshi, ama light mwadivika all over but demon will just walk freely and he wake you up to say, come, come and eat uh, cockroach. We have prepared cockroach for you. Want to poison your stomach. You wake up. Mwamba yafi yaku yafi yamba fi yoku ya. Mwamba yamba 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 Owe, nishi fina chila ya. Kati ni mpenfu. Kale murile. But if the spirit of God is there for you, he is like your bodyguard. He cannot allow Satan to enter your room. Alashita kobunga. Alasho nkela kwa ngani nganda muso nkela. Habi kile po shinga pa kutu mkule hili nganda. Pati ale ingila vefu lili. Nga muntu nga ati ese panga nda ese ingi mwana punda. Kabuala la, kabuala la. Why are you not shouting that? He was ability, he was ability. Why are you not shouting? If you see a human being inside your house, even your neighbors who hear you, Kabuala la, Kabuala la, a criminal, 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 criminal. Why are you not shouting like Satan is here? When you wake up, hey, hey, Mwele Sawandi, Mwele Sawandi, Nganda ino kufina, Kani finisha amudi ino nganda? Look at you. Are you a child of God? Jesus came by the power. And he said, I'll send the same power for you. You are in this world, but you do not belong to this world. If they hate me, they are going to hate you. The way they persecuted him, that is the same way they are going to persecute all of us. But he said, she have I've overcome. Meaning, no matter what situation you are going through, you become, because the hope of life is inside you. You are saved your lady. Are you there? I'm saying this because as long as you are not empowered, I mean you are not saved, anything this time around is going to change your mind. And you start following, you know, the way of this world instead of trusting your father in heaven. Mishamla Pundati, evil spirit is here. That is sometimes mwaukafi. <gasps> what is it? It's like uh, they want to kill me. I know it's my uncle. Uh, how do you know that it's your uncle? Satan can use any face to create confusion in your family. Amaka ya kualesa bela koko mipususha. Ya bela koko tupususha. I've given you this example that the people of this world are depending on the security of their fellow human beings who are holding guns. For you children of God, you are depending on who? The power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.